anyone who's ever sung in a choir, we all have this experience of just feeling the sheer power of our voice joining with other voices. Together we can make this rich, beautiful sound that independently no one of us could make. I got hooked on that actually here as a student. For me, it's just this great joy of being able to share that magical experience of breathing as one, of singing as one, in a way that no individual one could do. At Oberlin, we have four main vocal ensembles. We have the Oberlin College Choir, largely made up of voice majors, but also singers from other majors within the conservatory and the college as well. Collegium Musicum, which is all early music, the Women's Chorale, and we also have Oberlin's Musical Union. Musical Union is one of the longest running choral traditions in America. It's actually the second oldest in the country. Throughout its history, Musical Union has been open to anyone who wants to sing without an audition. Sitting next to a professional singer is someone whose range is much more limited and whose dynamic range is much more limited, but still they can together create this really wonderful product. The first thing we listen for is, as a section, are we all really on the same pitch? Are we all really on the same vowel? And how is my vowel compared to the vowels of everyone else in my section? And then we listen for balance within the section, because we want to get it to where basically each voice is contributing relatively equally. Beyond that, we start listening for how is the balance between the different sections. It's a big, rich sound when you get 120 people singing together. I teach conducting class as well, advanced choral conducting. One of the things that's great here at Oberlin is there are, for undergraduate conductors, opportunities to conduct. We frequently have conductors put together ensembles to do pieces on their own. And of course, with our really vibrant composition department here, we often have our conductors working to premiere pieces written by composition students. Our job as a conductor is to put in place everything that's needed to make it possible for our musicians to do their very best. A lot of that for me starts with score study, looking at the score and saying, okay, you know, if I'm doing, say, the Schubert Mass in G, what would Schubert's dream choir have done here? What would they have sounded like? I would do a gentler four, so the change is it's not so, it's not not so sudden. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. building the physical gesture so that they can support and reinforce and guide, and when needed, control in conducting. And frankly, nuts and bolts of you're standing in front of a choir and something sounds bad. How do you fix it? For me, I wasn't sure what it would be like coming back as a faculty member having been a student here. The students are so wonderfully intense about what they're learning. So I think teaching here, you become, as much as anything, sort of a guide saying, hey, you know, try this. And you just keep steering them towards those things you think are going to help them. <laughs>